uh, places I've been before, this high school, my, you know, where I played before. Uh, that for those first couple games is actually kind of like a whole new type of run, new type of win. So I think after this game and next game, I think I'll, I'll probably be used to it. Uh, yeah, I did. I felt like uh, I kind of had prepared better after Nebraska. We only had one day of practice, but I was a lot more solid than I normally was. I was really focused because I, I was kind of upset about not playing because I felt like we could, I could have helped a little bit. But my guys won, so I just came into practice the next day and just tried to be aggressive. And Coach saw that and trusted me a little bit more than he, uh, I thought he would. So. Oh, man, that was surreal. Um, being here for a year, watching all these games, like you can sit on the sideline and still get that chill. Like, dang, this is crazy. This atmosphere, the people, um, just watching your teammates and being out there and actually having a part of something was a great feeling. And I'm, I'm actually super happy about it. And uh, just want to get prepared tomorrow and get ready to go out to Stanford and make another impact. Remember what he was getting on you? For? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, always, always. Uh, I'm, I think I feel like I'm pretty quick for my size and uh, pretty fast. So he's always just telling me, "Hey, man, look." You don't. If you're tired, your man. You don't have to guard your man if he you can't catch it. So just make sure you're high on the floor. Deny the pass so your man can catch the basketball. So you know, and he's always said that to me, and that's something I take to heart. So he just, you know, Coach T is constant reminders, and it's good for me. You know, sometimes I can get a little upset just because you know it gets, it gets. You know, sometimes I feel like. He's on me a lot, but at the end of the day, I'm so thankful for what, for what he does to help me because he's always trying. You seem pretty locked in right from the get-go defensively. Yeah. Is that the way you felt? Yeah, I felt like I didn't care about making a basket. I didn't care about doing nothing else except just making sure my man didn't score because, like I said, you'll stay in if your man don't. If your man is out the game. So I knew the offense was going to come to me. I felt like I've always been a pretty gifted offensive player. And like I said, defense has been my main focus since I got here, so that's what I wanted to bring to the table tonight. Did your man score? I don't think so. I really don't. Yeah. I don't, no. I don't Held him so. out. <laughs>